back to After the Whistle. I'm Caressa Stinchcomb. A rugby senior is making his mark on the track team, shattering personal and meet records left and right. But his willingness to help everyone on the team succeed is what sets him apart from the rest. Joel Mattis has been on the track team since seventh grade. I really feel like I really started to really bloom into the track athlete I am now, I guess, um, in eighth grade because that was the first year I went to state and I went by placing regionals too. So at, at that point, it just showed me how big it could all become and what I really wanted to work for. And his hard work is paying off. He's qualified for state in the four by 100 and four by 200 meter relays, plus the 110 meter hurdles. Getting to where he's at now hasn't been easy. I know my capabilities and I'm willing to push the boundary wherever is needed. He's really hard working. He's, he's worked for every last bit of, you know, qualifications he's gotten this year. So, you know, he's, he's an important part of the team and he just brings our spirits up every day. I'll be really honest with you, he surprises me and I've told him that, you know. I think, uh, I'll be honest with you, that, that's his time in the 200. I, I knew he was fast, didn't know he was quite that fast. It's just like a rush of happiness and knowing that all that hard work that I put in really paid off. While he shatters record after record, head coach Scott Grocco says his leadership skills impress him the most. He's a genuine kid who really, really takes pride in what he does and uh, is very, very dedicated to what he does and, um, you know, very focused and, and, he wants, and, and he wants to do good not for himself but for his team. Uh, I guess that's one thing I've always seen with JD, especially over the last couple of years. He cares about more than his own success, giving his teammates tips and tricks to help them do well too. The biggest thing is uh, just knowing when to, you know, run on your toes. So uh, it's just something like just some minor things that just get forgotten sometimes. He's that kid that as a coach you love because not only does he work hard, but he'll work with other kids. And I've seen him work with some of our young kids. And let's face it, when you when you when you're a seventh grader and you have a senior who's got some of the best times in the state and the hurdles talks talk, talk about hurdles, you listen a little bit more than you talk to an old guy like me. Mattis is the true definition of a team player. We've talked a little bit about state meets and he'll talk to me about, you know, coach, maybe maybe I maybe I should think about running more relays. That way we get potentially get more people on the award stand. You don't you don't get to see that all the time. He always remembers not to take the sport too seriously. We have a lot of fun with each other. You know, when we pat, if we're racing against each other in open uh, in open runs, you know, we like to mess with each other when we go by each other. We'll say something as we pass the other, or whatever happens. It's it's honestly we just we just come out here and we have fun. As his senior year comes to a close, that's what he's going to miss the most. Come on, JD. Go, JD. Man, I'd really miss this uh, whole team thing. You know. Because everybody here knows everybody, and we all try to help each other. So I'd miss that the most, I'd say. The state track meet is Friday, May 28th in Bismarck.